Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here in the new loco that we just picked up. Taking it out on its first real run here. We did pick up the Ruby Basin. Went ahead and named it Ruby Red. Put the number four on this one because it really is... I mean, in number order, it's going to be the fourth one because we put 1024 for the model number on the other one. So this one is, you know, for all intents and purposes, going to be the number four of the line. We went with the red, and we did go with the antlers for the light. Just kind of having fun with it. The tall smokestack for this one, just so it's a little unique. Obviously, this one has some unique water um, with the saddle tanks on it and so it's um, we're gonna end up putting in one of the new water towers for this one which we have not done yet at this point so go ahead and grab this throw that in there should be enough to get us where we need to go it's already warmed up and ready to go looks like this one has a boiler pressure of 150 so that's a thing so we'll kind of just take a little look around this one. Pretty good. I like this one. Nice size-wise compared to the cordwoods. Finally, like a loco that's like big enough. It, <laughs> it doesn't seem so small with the load. I've always thought most of this stuff looks pretty small when you attach it to cordwood. So this one kind of finally fits. It's pretty cool. whistle is sure pretty neat probably don't need to come scream it out of here as this is a pretty good drop seems like the brakes and the power is probably gonna be no problem with this one so we'll probably be adding to if this comes out you know decent on the other side this one has a lot more power than everything else we've been messing with out here um, with the cordwood because we were running that with Betsy so Pretty sure this has plenty of power and we'll be upsizing this one. All right, quit. Maybe it's got a forever bell. I do dig the whistle. That's pretty groovy. Turn those off. This one does have the air compressor on it, not a generator. It is, I'm assuming, oil lamps. So whatever, that's kind of cool. Oh, there goes little Betsy. <laughs> Betsy looking awfully small next to this one, that's for sure. This loco has some size to it, which is pretty neat. I do have to admit, this loco is uh, growing on me quick. I am a fan, actually. This thing is pretty cool. I like the whole wheel arrangement. That thing looks slamming. Just kind of cool. I'm not sure how I feel about the triple hitches and the, uh, you know, it's got the, um, ah, shoot, I forget what they're called. Right there, the drawbar. So you got to put the drawbar up and you got to pin it. So that's just kind of weird, but, you know, still really neat locomotive. And it's got a great whistle. So that's pretty cool. Good look at the antlers. A few little things in the model, mainly in the paint, just with something where the lines line up. But other than that, you know, I don't know. I haven't seen any kind of issues with it. Like it, the numbers can get weird on the side of the uh, steam dome. If you put a four-digit number on it for sure, something like that, that's kind of why I just got a single-digit number thrown on it for sure. Kept it small, makes it look decent. Other than that, you don't have anything to write with the tinder, but you do um, with the name. So, And you do have a fair amount of space with the name. Big letters, little letters, so that's at least kind of decent. Like that. 
it definitely is a good looking locomotive the size of it's great the modeling is really pretty nice I think it's pretty good looking anyway that's just my opinion anyhow but having some fun with it seems like it's gonna pull I'm looking forward to seeing it come up the hill I would think it's gonna yank these cars along pretty good it's got an awful lot of power might turn around and stick it into the um, you know pick one up for some heavier duty like mining or uh, tankers in the end you know a different color or whatever I just thought the red with the antlers would look kind of cool for you know a cordwood a little bit of a quirky cordwood kind of run having some fun with it I figured you know it looks like it's come out of the uh, come out of the woods and maybe had a deer or two collision and went ahead and mounted those on the uh, old loco there so I don't know kind of cool look <laughs> that's my take cow catchers front and rear not exactly sure how I feel about the cow catcher in the rear I think you know but that is apparently pretty historically accurate or not pretty but that's what they looked like or what they had so you know there's a thing and it's definitely unique so that's kind of cool apparently this was like some train out in Deadwood or something is what I've heard you know I can't really confirm that but that's what I've heard anyway I have not tried to confirm that at this point but story has it this is a Deadwood train so that's kind of cool. Digging that. I really like its size for the cordwood because these have just always seemed like such big cars for most things. But then most of the time I always try to stick something small on cordwood. So it'll be nice to actually have a nice powerhouse locomotive to get the job done. And we'll go ahead and hit some brakes here. Not sure exactly what we'll need. Maybe a bit more brakes here. Oop, that's a bit too much. Wearing down the wheels. No point in that. Or the rail. Probably the rail first. Who knows? Alright. Looks like we're cruising around the corner just fine. Nice thing with this thing should be decent you know it's got a lot of weight to it anyway so it should be able to like you know hold this load pretty good instead of having to worry about it so much definitely a monster upgrade from betsy anyway that's for sure and we definitely could go with a smaller locomotive so maybe we move this over to something bigger but i don't know i kind of like the idea of having it on this one and then we can step step it up and throw a caboose on it because we actually have the power to do something so that's probably going to be the idea with this one. Two more cars and a caboose I think we'll be trying to pick up. Definitely have to earn some money because this, uh, starting today, I had like 700 bucks or something. I had to go get the money for this loco. So ran enough loads, picked this one up. Still pretty low on money now. And uh, we'll be building that back up for the next set of stuff. As there's the uh, 280 consolidation, we brought that over to run the um, iron, really to earn the money for this one. So it's been hauling its weight, that's for sure. If that one's eating up the uh, coal run, no problem. Absolutely in beast mode running that thing. So. Might be stepping that one down to something else too, but then it looks really good, that train put together, so I don't know. Might just keep it the way that it sits. You know, this might be going just a touch too fast. Hey, let's see. No. How many we can get, that's up for debate. So this look was quite a bit bigger, so it's going to probably start. Uh oh, now we're probably not set 
to go straight. Well, maybe we are. Hopefully. Flip that switch. When we dropped off all the iron down here, try to get everything set up and switch wise for this load. So hopefully you remember to do that. And then we'll drop that. Good deal. Cordwood on the move. Which means we can start getting some iron out of the other side, which will certainly come in handy. Alright. Yeah, there's one of the new water towers we did throw in for um for water, I'm not sure that it's going to stay there. It's just kind of sort of playing around with it so far, trying to see what it takes to uh, put groundwork and stuff under them. So just kind of working on that for now. Might be doing some stuff there, not totally sure. It's kind of a cool looking tower though. I'll give it that. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's taking off. Kick it. Alright. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna have plenty of power. Oh, yeah. There we go. Alright, so that's definitely gonna do the trick. So we can definitely pick up another car or two and throw a caboose on here for sure. That's gonna be cool. There we go. Bam. And that's hauling up a 6% grade. So that's cool. Get the job done nice and sweet. Six cars are going to make it a little harder to unload because it's going to be starting to work its way up grade. So it's not going to want to just roll off. But figure that out in the dump process. Can't be that big a deal. Definitely going to get the job done though. A little bit of work here. Nothing to it though. That's pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> well, so that's one. There's a win. That's pretty cool. I actually really like this locomotive. Wasn't sure when I first took a look at it in the first looks, to be honest. Wasn't sure that I was going to be a big fan of it, but the more and more uh, using it here, it's, uh, I like this one. The uh, railroad dude, whatever you want to call him, Johnny Q, whatever, he actually fits in there. This is like the first loco that he actually fits in. And maybe he fit in the other one, to be honest. I guess that was something I wasn't really paying too close attention to. So I shouldn't say the first night he might have fit well in the 1024. I guess it was not something I was focused on in the first looks. But he actually fits in here pretty good. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I have to dig that. I mean, there you go. Oh, we can drive this one first person, actually. There we go. So that's cool. You don't even have to stick your head out. You can turn around and actually drive this one. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm horrible at driving first person, but this might be the first one a person can actually get into driving first person, because you can see. That's pretty cool. I know we're coming up on the, uh... We're coming up on the, uh, sawmill here, so... I have to chug a little bit slower. Whoa! There we go. Up on the roof. What happens if you jump in here? Oh, you legit jump. That's cool. Everything's good. There we go. Whoa. Driving first person. Too bad this front window doesn't like open in some kind of way. That'd be kind of neat. Huh. That's pretty cool. First train that's actually really convenient to drive in first person. At least for me. I don't know. I will be checking out the uh, the other new Baldwin, the 1024 and a half. I'll be checking that one out for it too. Maybe that's just a new thing. But this is actually cool. It's got a decent sized cab. We actually totally fit here. How's his feet look? Well, feet are still 
Are they? Can't tell. No, he's actually straight up, dude. Uh, that's pretty good. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, there's some really good... That's pretty good. So this model is pretty solid, at least in my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm generally not that super picky about it. I'm happy with most of the models, I have to say. But this one's got some nice improvements. I mean... You know, walking on the floor and being able to see out of the train is actually really cool, you know. And maybe this one's just much bigger, so it gave him more room. That I'm not saying I, you know, don't know, but wicked cool that it actually is like a thing. Because this one lets us play much, much more in first row. Okay. So I'm liking this locomotive the more and more I mess with it, that's for sure. There's a coal. Not bad looking. Pretty happy with that. Gives you a whole new whoa! Stop it! Gives you a whole new perspective on driving the train. Though I'll tell you that. Woo! That's up. Ruby Red is coming in. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm liking this locomotive the more and more every. Yeah, heck yeah. Huh. Oh, that must be the air compressor. Alright. Definitely take a nice look at the loco here. I have to admit, I like this one. Really good job. I mean, for me anyway, I like it. That's pretty cool. A few little things like the line. I've noticed a few little things here and there, but like, you know, it's like mainly in the pinstripe of the door. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna eat this hill up, no problem. I mean, this is, yeah, a little 4% bump in the road for this thing. We will definitely have to run this one out and pick it up a few more cars and a caboose. So, for that next time, we should be seeing that on here for sure. Not sure exactly which color caboose. We'll have to find something that looks good. I'm sure now we have multiple options so between caboose and way car we should be able to find something that looks pretty cool with this one but we'll be doing that it can definitely handle the two more cars so i guess with that we are definitely going to call it a win say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel y'all have a great day